I was in the market for a new first aid kit and I decided to try the Thry Aid Emergency Survival First Aid Kit. And when I got it, there were some things about it I really liked and some other things I didn't really like. Now I've been working in fire and EMS for about 10 years. So I figured I'd go through it and kind of show you some of the features and some of the things that it's missing. Now the first thing about the outside is actually is a pretty compact and seems like a pretty durable package. It doesn't look like it's gonna be something that's gonna break as soon as you drop it or anything like that. Now it does not have a hard shell. If you're worried about, if you're gonna be storing this with other things on top of it, that might be a concern, but generally it's not gonna be a big deal. If you're gonna be hiking or hunting or something like that, it's also good that this pack comes with molly straps so you can attach it to your backpack or I guess even attach it to your belt if you really wanted to do that. It might be a little big for that, but you could attach it to other things. The zipper is relatively sturdy, um, so I don't really see that breaking anytime soon either. The only thing I don't like about the outside is I get what they're going for, the whole tactical EMS thing. I think it's a little corny, but it's a good marketing ploy because that's what they're after. Now let's open it up and take a look at the inside. So once you open this up, the first thing you're gonna notice is this splint. And it's really good that they gave this to you with some explanation of how to actually use it. If you're somebody that's a hiker or a hunter, or even if you're just going to kids' soccer games or something like that, inevitably somebody's gonna roll an ankle, hurt an ankle, break a wrist, things like that. This is really good to have on hand just to make sure everything stays still. I've seen a lot of first aid kits. Many of them don't include this, so I'm glad they did include this for just your basic everyday first aid kit. Here they have a set of trauma shears or scissors, whatever you'd like to call them. These are actually in decent shape considering. I was surprised. Some of the other first aid kits out there include what they call trauma shears and they are certainly not that. So these seem like they're okay for what it is. Give you a whole bunch of cotton tip applicators for whatever you may need, whether you need to get some dirt out of a cut or spread some Neosporin on there. These will always come in handy. They give you this knife and so this thing is actually kind of absurd first if you're going to be in a first aid situation you're probably not going to be using something like this the other thing is is this thing's a piece of junk uh, if you can see here there's a liner lock in this and when i first opened this up when i first got it and was going through it i could just close it again you could easily close this on your fingers if you're going to get a first aid kit like this, definitely, if you wanted to keep a pocket knife in here, invest in a different pocket knife because this thing is not quality. So if we keep going here, back here behind this strap is a, a trauma wound dressing. This is also really good to have on hand. A lot of first aid kits don't have something like this. This is really good for a very heavy bleed. And these actually do work pretty well. Some of the other first aid kits out there include just a, an ABD pad or a trauma pad and they don't work as well as something like this. So this is good to have on hand. With this comes some gauze to hold it in place. So I am glad that they included this. Again, this would be something that's really good for if you're a hiker, um, hunter or something like that where you're gonna be out in the wilderness and if you slip or fall, you could easily cut yourself pretty badly. So I'm glad they included that. So over on this side, they have a bunch of other things. A pocket mask for uh, CPR. Now, a lot of places are teaching hands-only CPR and not even to worry about giving breaths, but it's good that they include this in case you are somebody that does know CPR and does know the proper way to do it. You can use this without having to do mouth-to-mouth -to, -mouth to a complete stranger because that could get very disgusting very quickly. So it's nice that they have this included. Some Curlax, this is good to hold bandages on. This is also be good for this uh, trauma dressing. These, this would be good to hold that on, so I'm glad they included that. Emergency blanket, always very good to have on hand, especially if you're hiking, hunting, anything like that. This is a staple of all emergency first aid kits, I think, so I'm glad they included one of these. Triangular bandage, also very good. You could use this to help hold this in place. Um, you can use the tr these triangular bandages for a lot of stuff. So not all first aid kits include this, so it's good that they did include that. Now this is something I really like about this first aid kit is they actually gave you a real tourniquet. There's some other ones out there that give you one of these long rubber bands that I guess technically is called a tourniquet because in EMS you use it to you know tie around someone's arm to get a vein to pop before you start an IV. But this is an actual tourniquet and if used properly this can stop an arterial bleed. The other tourniquets or the rubber bands, if you put that on someone with an arterial bleed it will not stop the bleed. So having an actual tourniquet like this is really good, I'm glad they did that. They also included another, this is what I was talking about earlier, an ABD pad, these do really well. 
They don't do as good for major bleeds as something like this, but this is good for just a medium to minor bleed. They actually absorb pretty well. So then up here, they have all your little basics. They have all of these compressed gauze pads. I'm not sure exactly how many are in here, but it looks like they packed in a lot of, I think this is a little bigger than a two inch, but these are essentially two by twos, all compressed down and vacuum sealed. Two by twos are useful for everything, small nicks, scrapes, cuts, things like that. You will use these all the time. So that's good. Uh, rubber gloves or nitrile gloves. These are crappy ones. These are really junky. Um, if you are going to get a first aid kit like this, I would recommend just going and getting a different pair because these are not quality. And the last thing you want if you're dealing with a stranger is to get a stranger's body fluids on you. Uh, that could obviously cause a lot of problems. So I would switch out these gloves for something else. I wish they would have done better with that. A couple rolls of tape. The tape is always positive. You'll use that to hold bandages and a bunch of just your standard band-aids. They also give you some iodine prep pad. I wish they would have given some sort of uh, neosporin or neomycin, some sort of, you know, antibiotic, topical antibiotic like that for scrapes and cuts because that's probably what you're going to be using it for most of the time. But again, this isn't bad either just to have these iodine pads, I guess unless you're allergic to iodine. Burn relief gel, always good to have on hand. More of these and some more 2 by 2s so all in all, this actually isn't a bad first aid kit. There's certainly going to be some things you want to add to it. Like I said, switch out that knife, maybe add some Neosporin because you're probably going to use that a lot for cuts. The other thing I really like about this is they included a bunch of things. So that it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five. It looks like there's 10 Band-Aids. One thing that annoys me with about, about a lot of these first aid kits is they'll say they're 300 pieces, but... 150 of the 300 pieces are just band-aids. You need more than just band-aids in a first aid kit. So all in all, this is pretty good, but be prepared to add some other things to this kit.